We're watching it very closely. Look at that thing. Oh my goodness, got some structure, some layers. If this thing can persist into the evening hours, another hour or two at most, maybe where I think we're close to our 30 minutes, low level jet's gonna pick up and this thing might try to give it a run at a tornado. But right now it looks, looks pretty solid. So yeah, it's hard to argue with that, right? Another supercell day in 2023. Yeah, it's 2023, so, ah. This time on Tornado Titans. See, right here, right down the road, uh, it's, it, you can see that there's, the RFD is starting to wrap around, to be sure. The team has found an incredible supercell with jaw-dropping structure. That's where it'll happen. It's gonna happen right there, yeah. I think. It'll happen there on the left edge. All right, it is loud. It's Amarillo. I got Eugene with me today. Uh, and by with me, I mean he's going to be following me until the tornado happens and he's going to go run the other direction because that's... That's my characteristic. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's your characteristic. You uh, drive into it and I'll run away. Exactly. Because yeah. <laughs> I, I watch your screen. I know, that's it. Gene's actually after the life insurance money. Uh, we got this uh, nice base forming here, another one way back there. Uh, these storms are going to go severe in the next little bit. And that's going to be, you know, these are probably going to be the storms we play with today and work with. Um, also some stuff going to our south, but I'm not too worried about that just yet. Also, uh, the most dangerous part of the day actually is ongoing right here. You know, with the ants just right nearby, uh, uh, living dangerously right now. So going to be, that's more dangerous than any tornado. I promise you. At least your words more. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. So. We'll see, it's almost like go time, go get on a storm, see what happens time, so let's do this. Storms developed really fast today, but none have matured into supercells. Early on, the day is looking like the dominant supercell mode may be harder to come by than expected. We're in Amarillo, Texas right now, uh, driving north. Uh, gonna be getting out of town here shortly uh, and heading for uh, an area north and uh, east of town somewhere. Uh, so we watch a mess of storms, absolute mess of storms. I mean, I can just tell visually, I don't even need radar to tell me it's a mess of storms. Uh, to our west, and just gonna be uh, keeping an eye on it. I think uh, eventually a supercell will emerge out of this cluster, uh, but it just might take a little while. And if that happens, I guess it'll take a little while. So we'll be fine. So heading east right now, and, or God, heading north right now. It's getting to the point. It's getting late in the storm season. I'm having trouble. And we're only like midway through. Actually, I'm about two thirds of the way through now. So, because I'll chase some in the June, and July, but we won't go away. So anyways, we're driving north out of Amarillo, and we're gonna be setting up soon to be looking at a supercell, hopefully emerging out of a storm cluster. We'll see. Indeed. A supercell has emerged out of the cluster of storms, and it is a very powerful one. The team is in perfect position. Beautiful, structured supercell behind me. Tornado warned. I have no idea, where did my headband go? I had a headband on, I don't know where it's at. Anyways. Beautiful structured supercell. I uh, got a wall cloud forming. A little bit of an RFD cut coming in here. Uh, actually looks like maybe could be tornado time. Got to watch that. I might have to pull the car up. Uh, but beautiful striated structure. You can see above it. Tilted updraft. Then this big long beaver tail. It's all going to happen right there. So we're going to be watching. Seeing what happens. This supercell is threatening to produce a tornado. But it is also getting about time for the team to move. To get one more view of the storm before it moves off into a giant hole in the local Texas Panhandle road network, they have to act now and move fast. Supercell right here. This thing's really going nuts. I hope, uh, I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, left side of this here, folks, that looks interesting. I think I'm just gonna have to settle for the, I don't know what. Yeah, this might happen. This might happen really close to it, Gene. I'm gonna go grab the other lens now. Low level rotation on this storm is increasing rapidly. Everything about this storm suggests a tornado is imminent. A lot of motion right over that tree. Oh. There's dust. Yep, dust. 
The storm likely just produced what was a very weak, very small and very short-lived tornado. It still has low-level rotation, but the team must get south of it so they can stay on the storm over time. Dumbest tornado ever back there. Uh, it was not impressive, but it was literally 10 yards wide, lasted 10 seconds. Uh, it's literally a bird car. Pretty sure a pelican out there uh, passing gas would have been more impressive. This storm still has jaw-dropping structure. The team is taking in the view from a distance as the tornado risk for the storm seems lower for now. But an important problem is emerging for its future potential. This storm formed off of the dry line where hot and humid air resided near the surface. This low-level instability was a driver for the storm's potential earlier. However, a pocket of colder air near the surface exists just to the supercells east. This means this storm will likely weaken dramatically soon. Yeah, I think it's just low hanging and looks dangerous. This looks like, is it, does it, is it going? Yeah, is there, is it going linear? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it looks like. So we've been following two supercells here. Here, I should put on a light for this one. There we go. So we've been following, okay. We've been following two supercells. They've merged and it's just, it's a mess. Uh, this over here has been trying to be interesting. Uh, there's low hanging stuff all the way down, but it's got really smooth, very ill-defined. That's a sign that this is moving into colder air, more stable air. So uh, I think honestly, uh, I think our tornado threat's like going down, but I mean, the structure's gotten worse. But what a day, what a day. So gonna stay on it for a little bit longer probably actually gonna go south of this highway and but yeah look at that you can actually see some roads that's pretty cool <laughs> so what a day uh cool day been it's been awesome uh lots of good material we're gonna do some good stuff for titan u this year once again another storm that was unique and did something cool but what a mess and my hair's all over the place with the storm weakening and no chasing weather on tap for the next day, the team calls the chase and heads for their respective home bases. But it won't be long before they're on the road again. It is May after all. <laughs>